Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I just wanted to show you that little bitty loading screen there because yeah, if you zoom back to where your save file is, you'll get the little reminder cutscene back when you resume the game. Isn't that nice and handy? So here we are. Fossil Falls, Waterfall Kingdom. This is beautiful. And this music, it's so epic. And it's only World 1! <laughs> so yeah, you can you got a little tutorial on how to climb poles and stuff like that. You can flip forward and wherever. Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? It's pretty nice. So another thing, the little checkpoint there, Waterfall Basin. Now, you're going to be looking for all sorts of stuff around this place. Like, see these purple coins? There's a limited amount of them per kingdom, and that we got 50 of them in this kingdom, and I already got three of them already. So where are those other ones? Who knows? All I know is I see a hat, and it's in white, and I will throw my hat at it. Oh man, there's three more down here. Man, that waterfall is loud. I'm loving it. <laughs> What's the sign say? I, uh, a button? Okay, there we go. I want Travel tip. Homing cap throw. After throwing your cap, shake the Joy-Con again to perform a homing cap throw. You can Your cap will fly towards the nearest target you can see. It's super handy when your aim is a little off. In dealy do. So you can throw it, and you can attack enemies. Thus, did you see it just like turn to the left to kill the other enemies? By the way, that enemy was called a Burbo. You're going to see a couple more of them in this. Oh, or they're just going to respawn on me. It's so cute. I, I really don't want to kill it. I mean, it, it, it's it's dangerous to me as it's all spiky, but it's so cute. How how could I do it? Uh, okay, I got him. <laughs> so, let's take a look around here and, you know, just kind of explore the area, I suppose, because why not? You know, it's, it's, they were hinting at the, the first power moon is uh, over there, where that glowy thing is. There's a chain chomp over there, but... Hmm, we'll go over there in a second, because first, there's some more of these mysterious purple coins, which we will find the use of later on. But for now, let's just kind of take over this chain chomp, and if you'd like to, you know, you could break that by pulling against the chain, like going in the opposite direction you want to wind up, and then release that control stick to break it open. <laughs> Whatever you're aiming at. Isn't that fantastic? So that's a power moon, and uh, there are a lot of them in this game. And I mean a lot of them in this game. Hundreds, hundreds, thousands, millions. Okay, maybe not that many, but, <laughs> but, but uh, there's. The, I'm gonna collect them all. Believe you me, and it's gonna be a fantastically epic adventure. Uh, oh, I want to. I just want to break the last of this stuff here, if you don't mind, just just for the sake of breaking everything for the fun of it, because you know, yeah, there we go, just for fun. <laughs> All right, there's our first power moon. Woo! The first out of many, many. <laughs> you notice that uh, there was a little thing that showed up on the upper left corner of the screen here. That means how many power moons you need to make progress to the next portion of the story. But don't worry, we'll be able to get plenty of power moons. Oh, jeez, it's Rosie O'Donnell! Oh, we found the power moon. Oh, lucky break. This will come in handy to power the airship. Have you ever seen anything like it? Well, kind of. In Super Mario World, it gave you three lives. <laughs> And look at that little water spraying on the camera. Isn't that a nice little touch? Yeah! Ooh, this... This doesn't look too good. Ah, oh, there it is. This is what we're looking for. Are you sure? It's looking a bit more rough than I'd expect it. Ah, uh, no, it's just an older model. I'm certain they can still fly. Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw me on that globe globe there. That's how I read it, because they put a globe on the globe. Alright. Woo! But alas, we don't have enough moon power. We've only got one. We need four more. Huh, nothing's happening. That power moon must have not have given the ship enough energy. I wonder if we could find more around here. Oh, I'm sure we could find more. A lot more. By the way, touching plants and stuff like that may or may not give you coins or secrets and stuff like that, so you may want to run through them. 
See, Odyssey needs four more. That's what that indicator is at the upper left corner of the screen there. Because we delivered our moon to there, it's now down from five to four, and the moon that was up there is now, well, put over there into the globe thing. So, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and look around for more purple coins and moons, just because it's going to be important for 100% completion. Because, you know, I'm kind of kind of crazy about collectibles. <laughs> and especially in platformers, because I can explore everyone and everything. And Well, maybe everyone is a bad, bad uh, way to put it. But anyway... <laughs> Hmm, hmm, it seems a little difficult to get up to right now, but maybe we can get up to there later on. Hey, maybe, maybe. Anyway, let's get some more coins up here. Purple coins to be precise. I got a couple of chomps hanging out over here. Well, chain chomps to be more precise. And as you can take a look-see around this upper area, you know, you're gonna... Oh, uh-oh. Goodness, look at the size of that thing. Hmm. Huh. Surely we aren't able to, are we? By the way, there's little Goombas and, like, you know, 8-bit Goombas and Spinies. There was a, uh, there was a Goomba on that uh, place that we broke apart where the uh, first moon was, too. I didn't point it out, though, at the time, but yeah. So, yeah, this, the T-Rex is sleeping here. You should probably, probably shouldn't disturb it. Or should we? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Destroy everything! The chomps! The walls! <laughs> yes! Everything must go! <laughs> By the way, breaking apart those bricks and stuff will unleash, or should I say, unveil stuff. By the way, you'll eventually get forced out of the T-Rex on your own. So what you might want to do is pop out of the T-Rex every so often and then you know just kinda just kinda go back on your rampage because why not <laughs> you're gone now <laughs> so yeah these sorts of things that are blocked off like that yeah those are the things that the t-rex can break apart so let's go ahead and yeah yeah power moon power moon <laughs> let's break apart everything we can and Wait, I thought... Wait, what was the... Oh yeah, you can't really jump as a T-Rex. <laughs> you gotta use that to get back. That's how I got. That's how I jumped so high before. Force the habit of me just pressing the jump button to jump. I know, I know. <laughs> so yeah, let's just destroy everything to see what the poop we can find out of this. You know, you know, just destroy, destroy, destroy. That's what T-Rexes do, I guess. <laughs> and... We must exit the T-Rex every so often, otherwise they'll be booted out of it automatically, as I said. So, anyway... Oh no, I destroyed the sign! I didn't mean... <laughs> I wanted to read the sign later, but... After I finish my T-Rexing job here, but... It looks like that's not happening. It looks like that is not happening. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm just, I just kind of keep refreshing myself here to make sure that I'm not... Not uh, losing my T-Rex anytime soon while I finish the job here. Okay, I think that's good enough dis destruction for now. I think I'm going to go back around and collect all the stuff that I now have access to. And like all the other um, stuff that you can grab with your cap to take over, yep, it'll automatically disappear and go back to where you last seen them. And here's some more of those little critters. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, the, oh, the sign is back! Yay! <laughs> It's the tutorial I showed you on the last part. Spin throw. When you're surrounded by enemies and just wish you could hit them all at once, snap the Joy-Cons to the side as you spin throw. Your hat will spin all around you. See both hands at the same time. <laughs> Alright, let's go around here and take a peek. See, obviously I could not get the T-Rex over here that easily. <laughs> It seems, it seems a little tight for something so large. And we're just gonna go take a look-see around the back route. Because then I can show you that for kicks. And look at that, we're back all the way over here. Isn't that nice and handy? And yes, I will get that moon back over at that other corner. I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. I just wanted to destroy everything that I could at the moment. You could have also destroyed those rocks and stuff using the chain chomps by 
pool balling them around. This is what I mean by pool balling. You, you use the tension of one chomp and hit another chomp. Bunk! <laughs> Just like a pool shot. And anyway. So, oh yeah, that was, it was on this mountainside. Yes! There she is. Beautiful! Woo! Chomp through the rocks! I, I didn't use the chomp, I used... I used the T-Rex, but that's a good example uh, that you could use the Chomp, you could use the T-Rex, it is up to you. Anyway, let's go up here and... I said, let's go up here and not wall kick. If you jump while, pre while pressing against the wall with your body, you'll do a wall kick and bounce off it, which is a handy move to have, but not when you don't want to do it. <laughs> so, uh, what is this over here? That those blocks... Th that wall, some of those things look familiar, like the runes and stuff. What can it be? No, it can't be. <laughs> oh, but it is. But are we really going to? Are, d don't tell me they're really going to have us do this, are they? Oh, yes, they are. 8 bit time, baby! <laughs> Oh my, we've gone flat and rather blocky at that. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty standard Mario controls and whatnot. You just hold the Y button to jump. I mean, uh, hold, excuse me, Y button to, to run and B button to jump. Why did I say Y button to jump? I don't know, I was, I was just getting too excited for my own good. <laughs> so there's, uh, oh, I probably shouldn't have destroyed this block under here so I could have an easier time hitting that multi-block. So there's this little section over here. Eh, can't jump over there. Or can I? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Secret power moon! Behind the waterfall, baby. Oh yeah! And that's another one to add to our total. I told you we'd get, a, get the moons as we're gonna go. And let's break a couple more things here. Always check like around walls and stuff like that to see if you can enter them as well. You just never know in these two bit type areas. And when you pop out the top, you just automatically poop back over to regular Mario. But then you're like, oh no! Oh no! You can't re-enter from the top, so you gotta go all the way back from the bottom. Yes, that is true, but that is okay. Because there's these sections typically aren't all that long, and I just wanted to show you that you cannot re-enter that. So anyway. Another checkpoint. Now, remember what I was saying about checkpoints? Whoops, uh, press the minus button. See this? Ch take a look at this. You can warp You can warp to any checkpoint that you find at any time that you please. Just like so. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that fantastic? So, yeah, that's what those checkpoints are for. They're not really, like, midpoints for, like, a side-scrolling level or something like that. They're actual check checkpoints so that you can warp to various places and stuff like that. Wow, this waterfall is indeed loud again. <laughs> hey guys, kind of want to, kind of want, kind of want to break stuff. Oh wait, what? How did that not? How did that not break this? I, I pool balled. I pool balled, man. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, and it, I, there's a heart here anyway. So we are good. Oh god. Please tell me we don't have to confront Rosie O'Donnell. Please tell me we don't have to confront Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, geez, they're confronting Rosie O'Donnell. Oh! It's Madame Brood! What's this? You say you need to repair some silly old ship airship? Why, I could never part with any of my precious Power Moon Power Moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable Chain Chompkins. And that is the name of her buddy there. It's golden! It's dangerous! Though not that dangerous. <laughs> Ow, pain! So what you do is, uh, at least I tried to at the start there, is knock the hat off of it. And then you take over, like you would any other chomp. And... Come, stop it, stop it, stop it. Wah! And then whack it right in their face, using spring power. <laughs> Look out, she's gonna throw it! <laughs> it's like a yo-yo! <laughs> So, and then we repeat our tactics, but then she starts swatting at us to try and get us out of the chomp. But eventually she tires, because she had way too many potato chips. And then we continue the battle for as long as we need to, 
by whacking her in the face with her own chain chompkins as many times as we need to. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and grab some of these coins if you don't mind here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and don't touch her, please. Just don't, don't. It's, it's too sweaty. Too sweaty. Why am I taking so much damage with such an easy boss? By the way, if you need some coins, you can throw your hat at the rocks and you'll be able to get coins to recover your health and stuff. But anyway, I mean, not, not your health and stuff, but excuse me. <laughs> Sometimes it hurts around the battle area, I mean. Well, we win after three hits. It was easy enough. I don't know how I managed to take that many hits. But I guess I was just messing around too much. So this is a triple moon. Triple power moon. If you grab it, a special cutscene happens. And it is beautiful. Woohoo! Multi moon atop the falls. Collect it. It's worth three. Whenever you get one of those triple power moons, multi moons. Yeah, you get three added to your total. So we got. Uh, we got more than enough moons to reach the next area. You've done it, and now we've got a mul moon multi-moon. It's as strong as three power moons combined. We should get the ship moving in no time. All right, let's see if we can't make this work. Throw me on that globe globe. <laughs> it's just silly how they type it out like that, I think. Odyssey needs four more. Oh, we've got more than that. <laughs> Oh yeah! What the poop are we gonna do with such a rust bucket anyway? This better turn out good. Otherwise we're doomed. Hmm? Holy poop! That thing really repaired itself. The Odyssey is restored. Woo! Oh yeah! Uh huh! Oh yeah! Woo and we can go ahead over to the next kingdom now. We have enough fuel to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go save those Tierra Peach 2. Okie dokie. Why don't you take the helm? Just select Sand Kingdom right and press A and we'll be off. So yeah, you can choose to go back to the Cap Kingdom, keep playing the Cascade Kingdom to look for stuff, or head over to the Sand Kingdom. I'm gonna go to the Sand Kingdom. Um, yes, yes, you can get a couple of stuff back at the Cap Kingdom or Cascade Kingdom, but the way that this game works is that the... You, you can't collect everything on your first run through a place. Because sometimes you need to go to later worlds to get stuff back to unlock in earlier worlds to get moons from them. Or you may even need to beat the game to unlock stuff in earlier worlds. So I'm not going to wor worry too much about the actual, like, completing, collecting absolutely everything early on in the game, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna explore, we're gonna get moons and purple coins and stuff like that, but for the most part, we're just gonna focus on progress through the main story, and then after that's over, we're gonna go back over to other stuff and do more collecting, and yes, I will go back to earlier worlds before the end of the game, too, to collect more moons, just because, you know, it just kind of knocks things down and out of the way, but anyway... We're going to go over to the Sand Kingdom in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.